And to the broadcast, our sign language interpreter tonight is Flora Atieno. Tonight's Agriculture Cabinet Secretary, Mideka Lintori, seems to be throwing the Kenya Bureau of Standards under the bus with regard to the fake fertilizer saga. Lintori says that there is no fake fertilizer in the country, just some substandard 3,000 bags of fertilizer. And TV's Brian Mushiri begins our broadcast tonight. For the second time in a week, Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mifika Linturi found himself in the corridors of Parliament, this time in the Senate, to appear before the Standing Committee of the Senate on Agriculture. Linturi maintains that the country has only had some 3,000 bags that are substandard, not fake fertilizer. This time round, however, he does not rule out the possibility of unscrupulous suppliers who he says are out to tarnish the good job that the government of the day is doing for the farmers. When uh, a manufacturer makes error and you know caps, once you've been given the I don't know whether it's, it's the standard mark of quality and you've been certified to produce a certain product, you are bound by the law to Make sure that whatever you provide in the market is what was certified by KEPS. So KEPS had also done its work. However, the Senator James Mungaro-led committee was not quick to buy Linturi's argument that only 3,000 bags were substandard. That means there was a lapse. So there is also a potential case whereby more than 3,000 bags didn't need the standard because the person or the body which was supposed to ascertain Certain standard didn't do its work. Mm. That's what I thought. So, no, no, no. because uh, when I was eating, you, you are not the one, you are not KEPS. Just start from there. And you think that they are investigating. The committee promised to call in the managing director of KEPS to respond to the allegations. Further, an exhibit of the alleged fake fertilizer was presented on the floor of the house for members to see. Linturi, once again, denied the fake fertilizer as being part of the ongoing government subsidy. As it stands, the major bone of contention is who ought to take responsibility and compensate the farmers. Linturi insinuating that farmers are on their own. Brian Mushiri, NTV. When they are selling this, uh, Azimio Lomoja, one Kenya leader, right?